Yo guys, your boy Skate here. Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, guys, I'm showing you guys how to make my thumbnails on GIMP. I'll put a thumbnail on screen right now. So let's get straight to the video, guys. So the first thing you guys want to do is simply load up GIMP. I'll put the link of this description of this video how to get GIMP. Basically, the link. So once you load up GIMP, what you want to do is simply hit File. Hit new and then what right here you guys you want to put your revolution of your videos if it's 720p I think it's nine no no if it's 720p it's something I don't know you gotta look it up but since mine is 1080p I would put 1920 and then for height I would put 1080 yeah 1080 basically and when you want to once you put that you want to hit right here hit advanced options hit fill put transparent and hit OK so once you have this right here guys what i like to do is go in basically sony vegas since i'm not in a video right now but what i would do is hit right here and get a screenshot but since i already have a screenshot ready for this video i would do file open as layer and i would go under um desktop and i would put this since we're working on thumbnails i would do this and then i'm gonna zoom out and i'm gonna hit this button right here which is scale and I'm just gonna fill it up with the box for the thumbnail okay so now once I do this what I like to do right here guys is simply um I like to uh, go to color no no it's color saturation I like to turn the saturation down and then I would go to filters go to blur go to Gaussian blur and then I like to put in like 4.7 so like 47 hit ok on this and if I think the picture of my thumbnail is too bright I would uh tone it down a little bit by using um the fill tool and putting it black and just putting it maybe like I would say 80 no 80 and once I do that I would merge these down and I would hit open new layer and then I would have, I have a picture ready for this, which is this. So what I would do here, guys, is I'm just going to get the select free tool. I'm going to speed this part up, but what I like to do, guys, is simply just cut my cut around my body. And yeah, so let's do that. Okay guys, now I'm done. Now I would do right here guys is simply hit command C just in case it like fails but I would do um, hit invert and then I would hit delete. So if it does this guys what I would do is just simply just delete layer, select out, select none and uh, hit control V so I copy and paste it. So now I have this. Since I like to have my body on this side I would um hit view I think no image I'll hit transform put it for, no wrong way I would hit what was it called again image this way but wait since oh wait, this is a paste layer I would have to do is hit new again Hold up guys, I gotta get, I gotta make a PNG of me real quick. I gotta put it onto this monitor. Okay, let me save this. Back over here. Let's save it under tutorial. And also guys, hope you guys like my new Logitech webcam I got. I got it, I think a couple weeks ago. I just been focusing on like my license, my permit and license stuff. For my drivers but yeah that's why I made not much videos okay now that I have this a PNG I'm gonna go back to open as new layer and this and I'm gonna simply like I said flip it over to make it this way 
But what is it doing? Oh, I don't don't I don't hit all select, okay. Open as think and then I would hit image. Okay, I'll just let it be that way. But anyways, I'd put my thing right here. No matter if I actually like that way, I would put my my body right there. And then yeah, and once I do that, I would X out of here. I would go to photo pix pix yeah, it's pix art. <sighs> I'm a mess. I haven't made a video in a while. Okay. And what you guys want to do is like you can do the text and gimp, but I don't like to do the text and gimp. I like to have like my own. What's it called? Template. Yeah, I have my own template I use for GIMP and stuff. So that's why I just use this. So all I would do is type in how I make my. And then I'll put thumbnail in a different font. So sorry, this video is kind of choppy or not good. But I'm gonna edit it well, good. Okay, I'll put it right here. Yeah, 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 okay. Save this as a PNG. Put this under tutorials. And then I would undo this and I'll put thumbnail. What y'all find a font? A font? Yeah, what y'all find a font? I'll do this one. Okay. Is that your thumbnail? Yeah, I think it is. I don't know, I'm so tired. I'm doing this video like a... Uh, so late because I gotta get a video up for tomorrow. Yeah, there we go. I think that's a spell thumbnail. <laughs> Wait, matter of fact, let me look this up. Yeah, okay, I was right. Okay, now I would go back to GIMP. And once I have this body, I position it, put my body right here. I'm gonna hit open as new layer again. Put how I make my thumbnail, so I'm gonna scale this. And basically, that's new layer, uh, thumbnail. And I'm gonna scale thumbnail, I'm probably gonna put it like this. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. Scale a little bit more. Put it right here. So now I have, once I have it all like this, guys. I would, um, hit my, hit my body right here. I would go to drop shadow. Under filters, drop shadow. And then I would put it in blue, because my thumbnail theme is blue. So, I would put blue, and right here I would put 45, put 0, 0, and then I would put up to 100. And right here, do not hit this, hit disable that, and hit OK. And it's going to give me like a blue background, so I just repeat it, repeat it, until I like, like it. Normally it takes me probably like 3 of these. Yeah, yeah, three. And then I merge them down to this layer, and then right here, I would do the same. So, select three. Uh, this one probably takes like four. And then for thumbnail, I might just keep it as that, because it looks good that way. And once I'm done doing all this, I would hit new layer and then I would hit blue go to the colors hit blue get my brush make it doesn't matter what size it really is and then I would zoom out and just click like that and then put this behind me up and then I would Faded a little bit. And 
duplicate this layer, bring it back up, bring it to 100, delete a little bit of it, fade it a little bit, and then yeah guys, so that's how I make my thumbnail, so don't forget to subscribe for more content, leave a like, stay tuned for more content. I'm kind of still on my messed up schedule. I got to get back on schedule, but anyways, guys, subscribe for more content. Leave a like, and remember, guys, to keep it solo. Peace.